The Treasury Department plans to frank new coins to commemorate the coronation of Rama 10. The most expensive coin will cost a million baht, that's in platinum. But for the less rich, commemorative coins will be franked in gold, silver, bronze and basic copper nickel, seeing the least expensive selling for just 20 baht. Rain and light breezes have seen Bangkok air improve and dust levels drop, according to the local authorities, who monitor air quickly. They expect more improvements during the week too. This is over 600 factories were asked to stop production at the height of the smog, which aided the clearance. Fun on the Sukhumvit in Bangkok this week, as police there cleared the street vendors selling enhancement medications for nocturnal activities. It seems that they confiscated two million bahts worth of little pills and toys, arrested four who didn't run away fast enough, and saw the streets a little easier for pedestrians to walk along. Those caught were charged with selling restricted or obscene items. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya on the beach here, locals recovered the body of an Asian man in Koh Lam. Thought to be a Thai, he'll be sent for post-mortem, but so far it's thought he drowned while swimming or fishing at night. Pattaya's own prison saw the launch of a special visitor programme this week. Close family members of prisoners on under 10-year sentences were allowed to actually sit face-to-face -face without having to shout or talk through glass. Similar to Western prison visits, parents, a spouse or a child were allowed into the centre. Only well-behaved prisoners and visitors who've been checked for criminal activity were allowed to meet. Certainly successful. Some even brought food. And this may well become the norm if approved here. Pattaya's beach is virtually completed. New sand levels have been successful. And it's down to the final few hundred metres by the beer garden before the whole of the seafront is finished. According to City Hall, it's worth it to see the seafront improved for visitors. Jomtien next. There they too want a revitalisation after seeing the success. You may remember the sponsored bungee jump a while back to raise money to build a school in the jungles of the far north. Well, the good news is that the school is virtually complete. Under the Roof Club have been up there in the depths of beyond, seeing supplies slowly delivered through wet jungle roads. Now they're back in the city and hosting a fundraiser at Retox in Soilenki on Friday night. A night that will see international musicians playing, drinks flowing and the need for more cash to finish the project. If you're out on Friday, this is an event to visit and help the lads finish the project. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 33, dropping down to 23 and an overcast day, that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Pattaya, the city of fun.